and investigators are still working to figure out who's behind a string of package bombs in Austin. This is a live look at Galindo Street in southeast Austin. It's where the last of the three explosions happened, hurting a 75-year-old woman. We haven't gotten any updates on the investigation from police today. And many people remain on edge with a killer still out there. As KXAN's Eugene Cho found out, some neighbors are taking safety matters into their own hands. East Austin. I was born here. A place the Suniga family has been calling home for decades. I wouldn't live anywhere else. Uh, Austin is, is my hometown. They say they always felt safe until this week. I, I've never felt like that before. I'm scared for the neighborhood, for everybody in Austin. Now some, like Tayo Castro, want to make changes, starting with a walking neighborhood watch group. Castro hopes having this walking patrol will lead to more neighbors getting to know one another. So if there's a stranger, they'll know right away. All we can do is make sure that good information, things like height, weight, license plates, that we can capture those when we have the chance. Then we can give that to law enforcement and make their job a whole lot easier. Many people say that could help since not everyone can afford to have security cameras at their homes. People that are, are residents, longtime residents here, aren't really thinking about, oh, I need cameras because it, it has never existed. There's never really been a need. They hope taking action one step at a time will keep their neighborhood safe. We need to watch out for each other and, uh, you know, uh, look after you know, uh, each other. If we get paralyzed, then they've won. And I can't let that happen. Eugene Cho, KXAN News. Talio Castro says he'll present his idea at Austin Justice Coalition's forum tomorrow. Organizers say police will provide a brief update there. And then they hope to have a discussion with community members about keeping their neighborhoods safe. And we've learned that a locally owned hardware store and a national chain are cooperating with the investigation into the package explosions. KXAN Investigates spoke with the general manager of a local hardware store. He told us ATF investigators came in with a list of items to see if any of them had been purchased. Items that could be associated with an improvised explosive device or an IED. The GM says ATF agents were at the store several hours looking through receipts. He also showed them surveillance footage from this year. We're told investigators took the surveillance DVDs with them. The store has kept footage dating back to 2014. We called several other hardware stores around town, and they said investigators hadn't contacted them. Home Depot directed us to law enforcement. Lowe's confirmed it is cooperating with the investigation, but it didn't provide any other specifics. We reached out to ATF about the scope of their investigation into Austin hardware stores, but have not heard back. There is a network to help track and stop potential bombers. Homeland Security has the Tripwire online portal. That's the technical resource for incident prevention. First responders, bomb squads, military personnel, all can sign up to share information there. DHS also has the Bomb Making Materials Awareness Program. The idea there is to let businesses know what materials are used to make improvised or homemade bombs. Officials want those businesses to report suspicious purchases. Tonight